Hello everybody, um, I haven't done a favourites video in forever so I thought I'd do one. So let's get on with it. A lot of my products that I've used have changed, um, so what I'll start with is my new favourite foundation. So it's the Super Stay Wear, Super, Super Stay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation from, is it Maybelline? Is it, yeah, it's Maybelline. Um, so it lasts forever. I could have done with a paler shade, but because I've been tanning a lot recently, that looks the wrong way around and it's bugging me, because I've been using quite a lot of tan recently, it's matched really well. Um, slightly orange, but I just use a lot of concealer anyway, so it all blends out nicely in the end. And to get extra bronzed, I also like this. I've had this forever, probably out of date, really don't care. Um, but it's the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. Um, it's This has lasted me since I used to do my dance competitions when I was 17. Uh, I found like two randomly in my um, in my little makeup box. So I'm making use of it and it's literally the best. I'm terrible at contouring. I can't do the whole like thing. It just doesn't work out for me. So I prefer to use this in a big fluffy brush. Um, and on my eyes, I've been really enjoying using this NYX Wicked Dreams. I don't know what that word means. but. The Wicked Dreams palette from NYX is absolutely amazing, it's really high pigmented, there's quite a bit of fallout from it, which frustrates me, um, but I have another brush that fixes that coming up next, which I also use for my highlight. Um, but there's loads of pretty colours in there, you've got like sparkly blues which I've got on my eye today and I put the light blue on it as well. I love using pinks and gold colours out of here, um, and I'm going to be doing a lot of different makeup looks um, in the next coming months. Um, I've hit pan on this one because one, it kind of like was ruined in transit getting here. Um, it was a Christmas present off my Uncle Craig um, and thank you Uncle Craig, not that you'll be watching this but <laughs> but yeah, that one is like one of my favourites, I'll match it with that nice pink up there or I'll use these blue colours together which I've done today. So yeah, I really like that, there's lots to choose from, lots of different colours and if I do get any fallout I use this pretty little rainbow, I think it's from Uncle as well. My uncle did well this year at Christmas, <laughs> so I just literally like just brush it away, and I also love to use it for my NYX highlighter. Now, this one's nearly all gone because it's one of my favourite colours. Um, it's got like a nice pearlized, bronzy, warm tone to it, and then you've got like your blues and your yellows and your pinks up here. There's so many different colours to choose from, and you can really suit it to your own skin tone. Um, and I, I like to use the purple one just like here because it kind of gives a nice pop to your eye because um, I've got blue eyes so it makes them like stand out a bit more plus it'll be perfect now with my new hair um, and then for my eyebrows I really do need to get a proper eyebrow palette sort of kit thing but for a long time I've just been using Dark Horse again hit pan because it's so good <laughs> but it's got a sparkle in it so I don't want to use it like all the time and without anything on these they're like see through it's really bad I need to get them uh, tinted again um, but I love using just the basics like naked Urban Decay palette for my eyebrows, never done me wrong, use it with an angle brush and you can get that nice definition and for when you're finished I love using this fixer spray from, is it W7, yeah, it's something silly like £2 off Amazon, um, I put it on my Christmas wish list every year but I run out of it so quick, it's already ran out, it's like what February, I think I ran out of it last month because it's just so good, it is only small so I'm wondering if they do a bigger size because I would definitely buy that. I get red cheeks a lot, as you can tell I've not put any primer on today because I've already got red cheeks but... I got bored at 4am and did this makeup look then, so it's lasted quite well to be fair without any fixer spray or primer. Um, but because I do get red cheeks quite easily, I do like this NYX primer an awful lot because um, I tested it out, I got my friends to like sort of see how my makeup looked throughout the day because they'll tell better than me. And they say that my makeup looks way better when I use this. So I've been using this literally every time I wear my makeup. I know I forgot to today but I normally put this on because I feel like it almost makes it last a bit longer as well because it's got like a bit of a barrier before you, you know, before it comes off. And now on to hair products. I feel like I'm talking really fast. So, because my hair, as you can see, has changed drastically. I had an ombre, my natural roots, blended out to about here and then blonde on the ends. But I wanted the blonde lighter and I wanted it to just 
pop a bit more and like so I could do pastel ends for it to grab and I've been using this quite frequently to slowly get it lighter and lighter it's the Nutri's Trudy Blonde Maximum Lighter that lightens up to eight tones and it's got an anti-yellow conditioner like a blue condi a purple conditioner um, and it's the strongest one so it's D and then three pluses bleach maximum lightener it says bleach but I feel like it's more of a hair dye than a bleach there's something different in the formula that just makes it seem a bit more nourishing to your hair. It's going to feel a bit dry, but that's why you put like a conditioning mask on it after. Um, but I wouldn't call it a bleach as such because it doesn't do that harsh, your hair falls out kind of thing when you do bleach at home, um, which always used to happen to me. So what I do like to do is put this on the ends of my hair. I've had this for so long, but it's really, really good. It's the dual personality coloured hair protection and shine serum from Aussie. It's got hoba hoba oil in there and lots of other great things and it smells absolutely amazing. It just makes it extra soft and it's great when you want to like define a couple of curls in your hair or smooth it out as well. And to create this look after I put the bleach on, what I did was I used a toner from, where was the brand? There it is. So I used this platinum toner to get rid of any extra brassiness because it's still quite orange in this region where I just put sort of like new dye on it. And this helped quite a lot. I got the platinum one um, from Jerome Russell and I left that on for about half an hour, put a bag on my head, put some heat in it for five minutes and just sort of let it sit. And after I did this, are you ready? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. So after I did that, I mixed Indigo Night from Colour Freedom in with some conditioner. I just bought a big bottle of Tresemme white conditioner so I could see the colour changing. And I put it on the ends and it kind of came out really, really pastel. So I had like blue and purple bits on the ends but nothing up here was happening and I put it all over. So I think I just made it a little bit too light because you don't need a lot of this but it's really hard to judge just exactly how much you need. So once I'd done that, it developed, I dried it and everything. I was like, I could leave it how it is but I kind of wanted it a little bit more bright. Not as bright as this admittedly but I just kind of feel a bit like a Disney princess now, which is kind of cool. Um, so I mixed a lot more in with less conditioner and let it sit on for half an hour. Actually, I think I only did 20 minutes this time because it was going to be a much, much brighter uh, mix. Then it turned out like this, which I'm really quite happy with. I was a shocker. It was like really like a shock at first. And I had no makeup on at the time and I looked quite pale on my face. So I was thinking it would wash me out completely. And my roots are quite dark than what I really wanted them to be but I'm okay with it it'll grow out and it'll wash out soon enough and I like that it's got blue and purple tones in it it's kind of cool and so when I tan again it'll also look a lot better because like once you've got a tan you can't really look pale <laughs> um, and I use this one so this is the Saint Morris Advanced Pro Formula 5 in 1 Tanning Mousse. Now I got the shade dark because I like to be really tanned when I'm tanned. I know it's not going to look real but that is fine with me. I use a little mitt. I got a really cheap mitt from Superdrug as well and that was great. It didn't get on my hands, didn't get orange hands. I used to just use a sock because like I'm, I'm broke and I didn't have anything on me and I really wanted to tan at the time but I bothered to get a proper one. And it's definitely worth getting a proper mitt and using a designated towel when you tap. About a month ago, I had some individual lashes put in. And they were slowly, slowly, very slowly coming out. Um, and I kind of got bored when I was ill in bed. And I started like rubbing my eyes and trying to get them off. And I kind of ended up the other night after I'd come back from a night out. And I was very hyper and I'm already a hyper person. I started to try and get them out. But I was literally pulling out my own eyelashes with it, which was so painful. Don't do it. Instead, from Isla, you can get this lift-off serum that you just leave on your eyelashes for just a couple of minutes. I left it on for like three to five minutes. I did a couple goes of it because had, I had like really thick, but like blocky, like, oh, they were awful lashes on. Um, and so I left them on and they just literally like just came off so easy. Um, there's no real instructions with these, but what I did was I got some cotton pads, cut them in half, put them under my eyes, like held them there, and just sort of like did one eye at a time, and it worked really well. Um, I can't even explain how, like, what's the word? I felt quite, like, suffocated when I couldn't get all my lashes off. I was freaking out. But this, it got them off in, like, minutes. So I highly recommend this if you want to take off individual lashes. I'm going to just be using the normal Isla lashes from now on that I can take on and off whenever I want. This book is amazing. 
It's changed my mindset on so many things recently. It's called The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck by Sarah Knight. And if you care too much about what other people think of you, read this now. It says how to stop spending time you don't have doing things you don't want to do with people you don't like. So it's definitely worth the read. I'd highly recommend that. And I think that's everything, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see me dye my hair another crazy cuff, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.